shall be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, hallowed be thy name. Yes, Lord. We come to you this morning, dear Lord, come with on. our frailties, yeah. with our, our challenges, <laughs> um, with, with, with problems in our lives. Uh, but with, with, with you, Lord, we have solutions. Yes. And, and we just thank you, dear Father, that, that no matter what's going on out there, uh, you've, you've made a way, you made, a, you, you made time for, for us Yes. So that we can work on our relationship with you. Mm. You're a loving God. Yes. And uh, a graceful God, a merciful God. And uh, you, you are all that we need through your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, help us to remember these things, dear Lord. And, and although the things of this world uh, tend to distract us and, and maybe move us off track, uh, be merciful on us, Father. And keep giving us moments like this when we can pause and and worship you, yes, and focus yes. on on you and focus on the love of your Son Jesus and the Spirit that is, that is within us for those who believe and and help us to be that light that that needs to be in the world, so that people can see that there is hope, hope in you. And we thank you for your word, for the scripture that you're going to give us this morning. And we know that if we, if we listen, if we yield to, to you, that you have a message for us. Uh, irregardless as to what may have been prepared, there is a message that has been divinely created for each one of us that hears this message now and will hear the message in the future. We thank you that you love us the way that you do and help us to love you back. Thank you for the, the pastor that we have. He, he's such a, a diligent uh, individual, dear Lord, and, and we, we thank you for his example, that we may go out and likewise work and do what you ha would have us to do, put, put our feet on the ground and, and keep us moving in the direction that you would have us to move. Yes. We thank you for the fellowship. And we thank you for all who have anything to do uh, uh, with this, whether it be the technology behind it all, or the, 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 the folks who, who just put inspiration in, in the the mind of the pastor, for Brother Addison, for all the others who will chime in this morning. We just thank you, dear Father, for the blessing. Yeah. We say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen, amen, amen. And amen. Amen, amen. I was in there, I, I, text, I was texting Jimmy. He said I texted him the fraternity meeting. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to, you know how you try to do multitask, right? Right, right. I, did, I sent to the fraternity meeting. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he said a chapter meet us. <laughs> <laughs> Bad enough, you know, the other day he, he was trying to put, hey, you know, I was, I was getting ready to say, he, yes, last week we was talking about the uh, Masons and he put the fraternities in too about, I guess, uh, worshiping or something like that. Uh, and I was like, I was like, I was like, I know Mason Tree. If y'all remember Mason Tree, uh, have y'all anybody a Mason? No, no. Okay, <laughs> that, was, that was a cool. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I was telling him. I tell him I sent you the chapter meeting. <laughs> yeah, you did. And I said, I said, uh, I said, I, I, I thought about. It. I said maybe that's because. Uh, Last week, Jimmy said about the the Masons and then the fraternity. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> and, and, and I was like, I was like, <laughs> so I'm inviting him. So he's like, this man trying to draw me into this. This, uh, I guess, he's, he's, this, uh, uh, what you call it? I don't know what you call it. Cause I, I didn't want to put, I couldn't put Masonry in fraternities. And I'm talking about whites and black fraternities. I, I assume you're talking. I assume you are. Uh, as as the uh, as the same manner because Mason Tree has uh, levels you're supposed to go to and then when you get to a certain level the I guess the mastery level 33 or whatever it gets to the point of saying there's no God you know and uh, I don't I don't at least some fraternities I'm aware of they don't do they don't get to that point of uh they don't have levels to them you in it and you're not in it uh and let y'all know alpha this case y'all didn't know alpha 
that that is Alpha and Omega. That's really they use the scriptures of Christ Alpha. That's where that came from. Light of the world. Amen. Just let you know. I can't tell you about all the rituals, but it's all about hey, it Jesus don't matter. It, it, it's all bad. <laughs> no, no. What, how you spin it, it's the Jesus roots Christ. of it is bad. I don't know about the roots because you're talking about Greek, right? Greek things. Tell me about tell me about the uh, root of it. I'm trying to make sure I understand. I'd rather tell you that it's the cool of the day, and my father is okay. walking with us. <laughs> well, anyway, with that in mind, uh, Jim, we just prayed, and uh, what Brother Addison and I had, and it was very exciting uh, Thursday, was uh, living by faith daily. We, we, we're not saying that that's not what people don't do, but we're saying that that is something that we need to do. Uh, it should be a practice living daily just like you eat food daily we should live daily by the spirit of the word of god and Amen. and the thing about it is i was sitting there brother addison and, and as you had asked that question uh and i said to the, about the construction there's a lot of things that come in in our life in our jobs uh mm -hmm. dealing with the family uh even crisis come up that 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 try to choke that word you know, uh, the slides I sent out, I, I did insert something. I inserted the, uh, uh, I inserted the parable, the seed, you know, where you sow the yeah. word. I, uh, I wanted to put that in there because it makes sense. It, it makes more sense. And I think that's why he said, no, not this parable. How would you know all other parables? Yes. Because this, that parable really is talking about things that choke the word of God. And if we're gonna live, so basically the things that choke us living, if you think about it. So, Brother Jackson, what I got here, wanted to start off with these scriptures as the foundation. You should be able to see it. Let's see. Yeah, I can see it. Could you read that for us? Roger that. Out of Matthew chapter 6, verse 30, starting in verse 30. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, yes, sir. which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, amen, uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, amen. Right. Amen. Matter of fact, let me see if I can advance that next one just so you can finish it out. Nope. Okay. Is it? I don't think so. I must have, if that was it, I guess. <laughs> One second. Make sure. I may have started off early on you. Oh, I think you missed the first one. I'm, I'm sorry. That's the beginning. That's the beginning of it. Okay, so. So read that. Read that. Habakkuk, okay. Yeah. Uh, two, two, four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yes, sir. By his faith, excuse me. And then read 25 to 29. You read the you read the uh second slide. I, I I that was my fault. I put you you must read this one too. Roger that. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for thy for your life. Come on. What ye shall eat, yes, or what ye shall drink, well, nor yet for your body. Uh -huh. What ye shall put on. Come on. Is not the life more than meat and the yeah. body more than raiment? Come on. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not. Neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Mm. And ye not much better than they, are ye not much better than they? Come on. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? Uh -huh. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right. And see, the one you read after that was, you read already, and I'll just go ahead and so make sure people got it. 
is wherefore if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothes you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or where else shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father know that you have need of all these things. But he's saying is, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his mm -hmm. righteousness, and mm -hmm. all these things should be added unto you. Take therefore no thoughts for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thoughts for the things of itself, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And, and what, I, what, I, what I caught on that was the fact that if you see the title, the title, if you didn't see the title, it said, now we must have daily faith living in God's kingdom. And, and what we're talking about is that the just shall live by faith. That's why I left that one scripture last week or uh, Thursday, Brother Addison, that we read a whole bunch of scriptures talking about reinforcing that the, the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. And the whole purpose is that is walking by faith, not by sight, it causes us not to focus on the cares of this world, but as because that's where you, I think that's where the challenges of when we're ministering to one another, ministering to people and reminding us one another not to get so focused on what you see in front of you, but focus on the things that you can't see, but believing in through God what's going to manifest from the spirit into your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we talked last week, and, and, and it's in these scriptures that we get to it was, the Bible said to put on the whole arm of God. And Amen. then I see, then I see that there's a reason behind that because there's so many things that tries to choke the word. I think, Brother Addison, when we talked Thursday, you, 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 you substituted the word faith, right, to the word of God. Yes. Yeah. In other words, the, the just shall live by the word of God. Amen. <clears throat> and the reason we need to be able to do that, and that's why I actually put in this, uh, I added this scripture to the slides. And uh, we'll let Brother Addison, uh, I'm going to let you read this for us too. One second. This is just foundation scripture we can use for discussion. You see that? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Put that. <clears throat> March 410. Mm -hmm. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the 12 asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, unto you, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, uh -huh. lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, know ye not this parable? And how then will you know all parables? Mm, mm. The sower soweth the word. Yes, sir. And these are they by the wayside. Uh, For the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. One second. There you go. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have not root and have no root in themselves. Uh huh. And so endure, but for a time. Afterwards, when affliction and persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Mm. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things enter in. Uh -huh. Choke the word. Yes. And it becometh unfruitful. See? And these are they which are sown on good ground. Uh-huh. 
such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some 30-fold, some 60, and some one, some 100. Now, the question, of, when you said, if you think about that, if we said we're supposed to live by faith, and you changed it very good, and I think it, 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 it applies by the word of God, and he just said that this is this is the uh, this is the thing that actually chokes the word. We can see that he said that's why this is the mother of all parables, right? It's, it's the mother of all parables because if we're supposed to live, I, I think that's the challenge that I was a, I was to live by faith. I was to live by the word of God. Say knows that's what I'm supposed to live by. Say knows that that's what you're supposed to live by, right? Look what he tries to come and get, Brother Jackson. Mm -hmm. And look what he calls, how he comes to get it. I think immediately. He, immediately he comes because he says, This is too critical. These jokers are supposed to live by faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing, oh, let me get this slide out of the way. And hearing by the word of God, right? And, and so he's trying to say, Look, guys. I don't want you to start taking thoughts and, and tell the truth. Isn't that what happens? We a lot of who doesn't take thoughts of of tomorrow? You know, that's what uh really stood out to me when it says take no thought for tomorrow. <laughs> for there is enough evil Woo, yeah. for today. In today. Yeah. So if 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 you're living by faith, come on. Then evil is present. Yes. The, it is the, the 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 parable says that. It says that evil evil is present for the word's sake. Yes. So all these scriptures tie in be, into this. That's why you put on the whole arm. The whole I know it. That's what I'm trying every to, day yes, to sir. live to live each day by faith. Another thing that came to mind is, you know, most people try to live by faith during persecution. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When the trial is at its heaviest. Yes. Then they call on God. Right. When, when their life is in peril, then there's a clarity and they call on God. Uh huh. Uh huh. But if you living by the word of God, yes, come on now, then you know that he is always present and there is no need to call on someone come who on. was always with you. Right. Because he is always oh. there inside you. Yes. And I think you, that's what, yeah. we we and our father we are one. Right. We are one. Come on, brother. So so uh it it, it was, I was just thinking of a, a whole bunch of scenarios to where you know people, my God, you know, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or, or Jesus help me, you know, and in, in, in stuff in, in, in a matter of moment, in, in an instant. Of uh, of danger or, or or what? Right. Uh, it's easy to focus on God. Exactly. Yeah. I, I was I was <laughs> I was sharing a testimony with a young lady, and uh, I was telling her how when I was on my deathbed, how easy it was to be in the presence of God 24/7. Oh, I yeah. mean, we were we were like this. Come on, come on. Nothing else mattered. Y yes, you said something. But my relationship with God because there is a clarity. Come on. That you have when you know that the source of life is the spirit. Whoa. And you 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 just focus in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you just said that you said keyword focus in. Brother Jackson, I don't know if you caught that, but I was looking at the fact is if, if we looked at the parable, 
and the tools of the parable. Let me let me make sure I, I'm gonna check this out because it it actually lines up with those yeah, other scriptures. But I think that's why he gave me this to focus on this morning. Was watch this. Let me see one second. Let's look at let's look at these tools that the devil use, the world uses. You know, because some people say, I don't want to call, I don't want to call it devil. Oh, you call it what you want. But let's mm. look at these tools, brother Addison. Look at the tools that the enemy uses to to choke the word. Go for those, go, look at those tools for us. <laughs> okay, the, the tools that the, the devil yeah, uses. Yeah, the things he uses, it comes immediately, right? I think that was the first. Uh, let me make sure I put it back in here. Well, I think the tool is the stony ground. Right. Now, let's do 15 the first. Thorny, the thorny yeah. ground, the cares of the world. <laughs> yeah. Those are, are, are his tools. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and which are the, the things that we, let me say, so subtle, right? He, he, yeah. he he's comes in, Brother Jackson, subtly, right? He comes in to deceive. He came into the garden. Subtle, you know, deceitfully, right? right? He uses something. He used lust to 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 uh, draw Eve off, right? right. So I think, brother, but uh, Addison, let me make sure. The first one was fifteen. It may have been fifteen. Okay, Satan. Okay, Satan comes immediately, right? These are with the song when they have heard the word. Satan comes immediately and takes away the word of song the heart, right? That's fifteen, right? That's why I want to make sure. Now, now we go and do the somebody trying to come in. Now we're going to those. Now let's analyze those tools that goes in there. Now, like you said, stony ground. What is that? That is a, a hardened heart. Yeah, yeah. We talked about it, right? That's that's the hardened heart, ain't it? And remember when, when we talked about last week? We was talking about the we were talking about the commission to go. But before they said go, he abraded them because their unbelief and hardened of heart, wasn't it? Yes. So this one is really another, another way of saying a hardened heart, right? The word, the, seed, the word is sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word and me, they receive it with gladness, but have no root in themselves. Because that means it did, it did not. Hey, Bishop, how you doing? Well, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, we 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 you know I mean it to put sing you out there, but what we was talking about was uh let me come off this for a second. I said I shouldn't have to come off so I can see it. Was we we're talking about now we we talked about it uh Thursday night and we we just bring it up on this today is that the just the the, the believers live by faith and we we Brother Addison, last Thursday, we, we substituted living by faith is living by the word, the word of God. Uh, the scripture we start off with came in uh, in Matthews, where we're talking about the fact is take no thought for tomorrow. For, and, and, and matter of fact, it actually said, I think, Brother Addison, I think it, I really like the part where it says, oh, that second piece, where it's talking about seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Let me put that down there. And then so show it with share. <clears throat> We're talking about we live by faith, meaning we, we if we're gonna live by faith, we gotta live by the word of God. The parable we did with Matthews in chapter six about be not anxious. Uh, and he's talking about don't don't look at the folk of worrying about what's tomorrow, what you should eat or what you should wear, but seek ye first. Verse 33, seek you first, brother, as I like that, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And this and then all these other things shall be added unto you. He, to me, is is when I, I was thinking about this coming to my mind now, is that we both abide in him, right? Jehovah Jesus said, abide in him. In other words, we abide in the kingdom. In other words, the kingdom is a, a way we both live while we're in this world today, in this kingdom. So that everything lines up. But in this kingdom, 
We have to live by the word of God daily. Just like we eat daily, just like we need water daily. Just, you know what I mean? I, I, I have to live, I live by this word. I live by this faith, faith in God. Because that's what the enemy, what you was, you was reading, uh, this is what we got to right here, was in the parable. We were starting to look at what the enemy does to choke the word. It says Satan comes immediately. And now, we, now we're on this part now of what are the different tools or method the enemy uses, the devil uses to get to it. And we first one, we're looking at the hardened heart. And we're saying that goes in line with the scripture we read last week. What we were talking about in chapter 16 of go preach the gospel. But before he go preach the gospel, he abraded them for their unbelief and hardening of heart. And the stony ground is a reference to having a hardened heart. Is that about right, Brother Addison? So, so that's one. And, and, they, and you see, they say that with no root, if it don't take root, but the bottom line is if you got a hardened heart, it's hard for the word to take root in you or into the person we're sowing the word into, right? Right. And, yeah. And, and, and not only that, but the thing is, is, you know, if you have no root, you know, or uh, you know, you don't have any real principles. Okay. And uh, as, the, as the wind blows and as, as things come your way, you just kind of go this way and that way as long as you're, let's just say, happy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But as, as, as it's saying here, <clears throat> you know, where I'm reading, uh, the, the, where it's on stony ground. Yeah. And then what happens is they, they, once that affliction or the persecution or, you know, any of these worldly challenges come their way, Woo. Then uh, hey, they the word is really not where they have their uh, their foundation, right. and so anybody or anything that comes their way, yeah. that's where they're going to go in order to relieve uh, that affliction or that persecution. Right. And that's part of the problem with with those individuals, you know, uh -huh. when you really don't have the root. Because yeah. if we have root, it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to stand my ground. Uh -huh. I'm going to stay in the word. So you can say whatever you want to say or, 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 or some physical affliction can come my way. Uh, something could happen to family and it's tough. Let's just be honest. It is. You know, what, what, what's, what's going on around there? You, what's, what's going on around town? You know, many of us right now are fortunate because see, you know, we're here on this, on this zoom meeting <clears throat> and uh, for the most part, now yeah. you got, you, you got your challenges, uh -huh, uh -huh. right? But, you know, we, 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 you know, Satan has a way of, uh, he said, well, hmm, you know, uh, like he did with Job. Let me, let me hit you right here. Let me yeah, hit you there. Yeah, yeah. Let me hit you all over it. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to find a way, like they say, you know, <laughs> that old saying, every man has his price. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, Satan can find a way to get to us. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and with our eyes, with how we look at things on a daily basis, we can't let that get in the way of the real vision right. which is what's in the spirit yeah and that takes a lot and if you don't have the root if you if you're not deep in it you, right it, it, it's it's you know it, it's it, it's futile i think That's i think what, i think the better word says if you're not living in it right mm -hmm, i think because that mm -hmm. was said with a just a live right if if, if, yeah. if that's not your that's not your source of living right right then, then, then the enemy is gonna take these 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 tools we're talking about or mm -hmm. methods however you want to call it and mm -hmm. try to choke that word mm -hmm. get you off your game right we, we right. talk about even in sports right in sports is is it brother Isaac can talk that smack you know mm -hmm. and i'm just saying you brother Isaac, you know so like michael jordan or whatever or, or, or muhammad ali or anybody in the ring they're trying to get into your head 